Thank you so much. And what a lovely day. And what a beautiful day. So I'm so pleased to be able to be here for at least part of the morning. And this is an exciting event. Tackling the grand challenges of our time is a cornerstone of the strategic plan at Western. No surprise, it's a cornerstone of the issues that we face. It's the fundamental issue that we face. We face grand challenges everywhere. It's what I think our research is about. It's what our, it is what our society is about right now. To reach these goals, we need to work together across disciplines and with those who have different experience, training, and perspectives. It's how we're able to build capacity to think about bigger problems and to increase individual and collective success to have impact. And that's actually the title of the Western Research Strategic Plan. It's in the title of our strategic plan. Take a look at the news today. Our problems are increasingly multifaceted and demand that we approach them in new ways. This isn't new. This has been the case forever. We need to understand how the systems around us are interconnected. And that's the purpose of the CAS lab to nurture interdisciplinary community to consider how seemingly different research converges. That has to be one of the most exciting things that can happen, I think, in our intellectual lives is to start to see those connections between things that didn't seem to be connected. I applaud you for continuing to identify opportunities to work together to build relationships and to find connections across your work. And I'd like to offer a special word of thanks and congratulations to the students who managed all aspects of this conference to make it possible. It's your energy that drives this. I think that's absolutely wonderful. This is such a cool opportunity to build connections between research and to enliven student experience, which is something that we need to do more of. We bring so much to this research endeavor and to those of us who've been in it for sometimes too long. I also want to thank James Shelley, who I think passion actually is the is the epitome of a word that describes James. This is a James. This is a passion project for him. He's helped to grow, create, and grow the CAS lab over the past few years. And I see a couple of notable themes in today's talks uh, talks about the dynamics of human societies and the dynamics of the environments in which we live at a time when the world is figuratively and literally on fire. Complexity theory reminds us that the concepts of human and ecological are interrelated. They're not distinct. We're part of the same thing. And I think the work that we're talking about here highlights how fragile the systems are that surround us and the systems are that we're part of us. So I want to thank all of the speakers today for sharing their work and also for your willingness to learn from each other. That's such a tremendously important thing and such a phenomenal opportunity. It's a gift that we have being at this institution with so many wonderful people around us, people who think hard about interesting things, sometimes things we know nothing about. So this is a room full and a virtual room full of informed and curious people, and that's always an inspiring place to be. I encourage you to make a conscious effort to reach out and meet at least one new person here connect with somebody you didn't already know. Try to learn from each other beyond just listening to the speakers. Probe and ask questions. Don't be afraid because if you have a question, inevitably someone else will have the same question. And do not be afraid to share what you know. That's how we move forward. Complexity theory shows it can be difficult to predict what happens in ever evolving systems. But the connections that you make today put you into new networks of possibility and new networks where we can generate understanding. I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you so much.